Good morning. How are you? Chef Kevin Belton here. Now today we're going to do something where it's going to use one of my favorite ingredients and that's going to be garlic. We're going to do a shrimp garlic pasta, but I want to show you some things about garlic, okay? Everyone always talks about my rice. When I cook the rice at the station, everybody says, oh, your rice is so good because I cook it in stock. So I do the same thing with the pasta. In my water, I have chicken stock, a little bit of salt. Now, normally, if you're just using water, you can put a good amount of salt in it. But because the stock is a little salty, I didn't use too much stock. But look, whole garlic cloves. I'm going to just toss those garlic cloves in with the pasta, and I'll show you how we're going to use them. Now, the other way I like to do garlic, I like to just cut the tops off the garlic. We're going to put a little olive oil on them and roast them in the oven for roughly 30 minutes, okay? 350 degrees. And look at the tops. This is the tops that come out of the part that you cut off on the top. So the same thing. But if I put these in a pan, I notice that they dry out a little bit. So I'm going to put a little olive oil on these. And I'm going to just fold them up in the foil so they stay moist and don't dry out. And then I just put olive oil right on the tops. Now, some folks have been known, if you want, you can sprinkle a little salt on top. You can, but I'm not going to, okay? The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this with foil. I'm gonna put the foil over it because that'll keep it from crisping. Now, if you want it a little crispy and a little browned, once after about 20 minutes, take the foil off and that way the top will brown off and you get a little crunchiness if you want. You really want to bake it that long. But here, this is just going to go in the oven, 350 for roughly 30 minutes, okay? So, I show you how to roast garlic, but have you ever thought about putting the garlic in your water with your pasta? So here for this dish, I'm just going to use spaghetti. You could use a fettuccine, you could use a spaghetti, whatever type pasta you have at home, use that. So, you know, however you normally cook your pasta, go ahead and do that. I always like to get it in. Oh, look, it's running all over the stove. Come on, guys, don't mess out. And make sure once you get it in your stock, let it stir it really good so it won't stick together. You know, some people talk about putting oil in the water, and I don't think that's necessary if you put a little salt in, but guess what? By cooking in this stock, this is gonna pick up flavor, okay? So I'm gonna cook this al dente, I'm gonna make sure it keeps moving, and I'll show you how we're gonna use that garlic that's gonna cook in there with the pasta. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. I really think you're gonna like this. This smells so good, and our pasta is al dente. Now you know I have garlic roasted in the oven. This is what it looks like once it's been roasted. Basically, I just take that garlic, squeeze it, it comes right out of the shells and it looks just like this. Now, we could use this all different ways, but I'm gonna show you, let's drain our pasta since it's cooked and you're gonna see the garlic in it. So let's just drain our pasta. Now, if we're gonna use this right away, we don't have to rinse it. But if you wanna go ahead and make a lot of pasta at once, rinse it with cold water. Cold water will stop it from cooking, okay? We can rinse it with the cold water. Once it drains, toss it with a little olive oil. And that way we can put it in a Ziploc bag and it's good in the refrigerator for the week. So that way we can make a lot of pasta and only pull out right what we need. So here, just a little cold water. Now, as this drains, I'm gonna pick this up so you can see it. Look at our garlic, how it comes right to the top. I'm gonna take our garlic out. And you notice our shrimp sitting there. The shrimp, I just have them sitting there with a little bit of the Creole seasoning on them because they're gonna go in the pan and start cooking. But with our garlic here, because it's been boiled, now I just take the spoon, kind of mash it, take the back of the spoon, mash it. And you see how it mashes really easy because it's been boiled. So I'm gonna find all the garlic in here, mash it up, and in our pasta, in our sauce, we're gonna use some of this garlic that's mashed in our sauce. So for our sauce, basically we're gonna start sauteing our shrimp. We're gonna do a little bit of heavy cream. Now you don't have to do the cream if you want, you can do it with olive oil. We're gonna do a little bit of heavy cream in there. So I'm gonna find the rest of this garlic. 
mash it up, and I'm going to get ready to show you how we're going to put this all together, and it'll come together so good. And I wish you all could smell that garlic cooking in the oven. Oh, it smells so great. Oh, yeah. Wow, the smell of this. Now, I've started cooking my shrimp, and I'm just turning them over on one side. But let me show you the pasta. I've taken a pasta. I've drained it. I drizzled a little olive oil on it. Now, I'm just going to take out like a portion I'm going to cook. With the rest, I'm going to take a Ziploc. Show you how easy this is. Take your strainer, just kind of bend it. Well, get in, everybody in. And there we go. Now, I have my pasta. It's good in the fridge for a week. So let's go ahead and finish off this dish. To this, I'm going to add a little heavy cream. We don't have to put in too much heavy cream. I'm going to add a little more uh, Creole seasoning in here. You know, cream doesn't have much flavor to it. Now, remember that garlic? Let's take some of our garlic that we mashed. And we're going to just kind of work this into the cream. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this smells so good. Now, let's go with a little bit of green onion. A little bit of fresh parsley. And now let's get our pasta in. Because our pasta is already cooked, all we have to do now, our shrimp are cooked, or toss our pasta in the sauce. And you see, this doesn't have to have a whole lot of sauce on it, okay? You don't need, with sauces, you don't need to be drowning everything in sauce, okay? That's not necessary. Now, if you don't want to use the cream, just use a little olive oil. Same thing. The other thing we're going to do with this now, a little Parmesan cheese. Let's put a little Parmesan in here. All right. Oh, yeah. Just give this a toss. We could actually turn our fire out. Now, you notice I started the shrimp cooking. The shrimp started cooking. I flipped them over. And then the other side cooked right in that cream because that cream was hot. That's one of the keys is getting that cream hot. So look at this. So now, let's move you over. We can take... Oh... That cheese is so nice and, and sticky and gooey and icky. All right, now we put our, some shrimp on. Now you know if we were in the studio, you know who would be eating first. That's right. Eric would be all over this first up. But Monica's just gonna have to tell him how good it is. So move, let's move this pan. Fire's out. We're gonna garnish this with a little bit of green onion little bit of parsley and if you want to put a little more parmesan cheese right on the top so there we have a nice garlic parmesan cheese remember this past sunday was national garlic day this month is garlic month so guess what every day for me every month for me is a garlic month so get you some pasta get you some garlic hope you have fun with your garlic as well we want to thank y'all for watching you know we love you we miss y'all Thank y'all so much, and we will see you soon for WWL TV. I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and be safe.